Hi everyone, this is Rick with RAM Mounts, and today I'd like to introduce to you the RAM RotoView adapter. What this adapter does is it connects between any universal or form-fitting cradle, in this example the RAM Tab Tight tablet holder, and any RAM mounting system, in this example the top of a RAM Pod HD. So with the RotoView going between the mount and the holder, what this does is it allows you to rotate your tablet between portrait and landscape mode without having to loosen or adjust the tightening knob that's in your RAM mount system. So in one quick one-handed convenient rotation you can go between portrait and landscape while still maintaining a rock solid mounting system for any rugged environment. So now let's walk through the installation process for connecting your RAM RotoView to your RAM Cradle. In this example, we'll be using the RAM TabTight series. As you can see, the front of the TabTight has the industry standard four hole amps hole pattern, and the front of the RotoView has a two hole diamond hole pattern. But the two holes will line up diagonally with the four hole pattern. So you'd only be using two of the four holes on your holder if you're using a TabTight. But other holders have a two hole pattern and then just line up directly with the two holes on the front of the RotoView. So what you'll do first is you'll take one of the half inch screws provided with the RotoView and you're going to drop it into the front of the holder. You're going to drop it into the front so that the threads of the screw protrude through the back of the holder. And after doing this, you then align one of the holes on the front of the RotoView with that screw head. But you don't want to press with too much pressure because the inside of the RotoView has a couple of nut pockets. If you shake it, you can hear them, but you don't want to push them out of the pockets or else it won't be able to tighten properly. So you just align it just so that the screw is going inside, but you're not putting in too much pressure. And then with the screwdriver, you just gently twist the screw just so you can get the threads to engage. With a couple turns, you can test and see if the threads are engaged. You can see it is now engaged on here, but it's not tightened yet. So once you're this far, you then rotate the roto view so that the opposite hole is lined up with the diagonal hole that's on the other side. You then take your second half inch long screw and drop it into the front of the holder. And again, without applying too much force, you want to just get it inside, twist the screw. You just want to get the threads to engage. With a couple turns, you can test. So now we have both of the screws engaged, but it's not tightened down yet. Now, in order to tighten this, you need to tighten it in a way that doesn't put pressure on the inside nuts that are inside or also push them out of the nut pockets and then the screws will just keep spinning freely. You won't actually tighten it. So the best way to do this is to pull the RotoView away from the holder as you're tightening it. You can even use the ends of your fingers to kind of brace in the gap between the tablet and the RotoView. And so you just tighten down on the screws while bracing the two components away from each other. This will keep the nuts inside of the RotoView from slipping out of their pockets. And while doing this, you can fully tighten. And when it's fully tightened, you can see now it is fully secure and attached to the RotoView. Now, if you're attaching the RotoView to a tab lock, you'll be using the longer screws provided because those will require longer screws. And if you're attaching the RotoView to an X grip, you'll use separate screws that are provided with the X grip that's shown on the instructions provided, and there are further steps on that. And the sheet metal screws shown here, these will attach to the reverse side. This is for connecting your RAM mount to the back of the RotoView. Now, these four holes on the back side of the RotoView have the same four hole amps hole pattern, and you can connect to any RAM round plate or diamond plate that contains the Amsoil pattern, the two holes will line up diagonally with that pattern as well. There are two longer screws and four shorter sheet metal screws. The shorter screws are used for any metal plate or any round plate. Any round or metal plate has the proper thickness to accommodate with those smaller screws. But if you're using a plastic or high strength composite diamond plate, this plate is a bit thicker and so it requires the longer sheet metal screws. But in our example, we're using the round metal plate. You simply align the industry standard four hole amps hole pattern over the four holes. You wanna make sure all four holes are aligned. And then just one at a time, drop in those sheet metal screws and tighten. Just give each one a couple of turns until all four screws are inside. in the third and the fourth. Once all four screws are inside, you can then fully tighten. And these will just tap right into the composite on the back of the road of you. And once all four screws are tightened, you've now successfully installed the road of you between the ball plate of your RAM mount 
and your tab tie holder. So now that the roto view is properly installed between the ball adapter for ram mount and the ram holder, you can then drop the ball into the socket of your ram mounting system and tighten down on the knob to secure the parts together. And when that's tightened, you can insert the tablet into the tab tight. And as you can see now, thanks to the roto view, you can quickly and conveniently rotate between portrait and landscape mode without having to loosen the knob on your ram mount.